Hello, I'm Adam Beer and I'm the illustrator of Mammoth, uh, written by Anna Kemp and published by Simon Schuster. And in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit of how I went about making the illustrations for this book. The book tells the story of a mammoth who wakes up from the Ice Age and finds himself alone in the modern world. He goes looking for his herd and ends up lost in New York. After a few false starts and adventures, he finds friendship and family in the city. I loved Anna's text for the book as soon as I read it. It's really warm and funny and there was lots of room for me to play as an illustrator. Plus, I love New York and I love mammoths. I started out working in sketchbooks, making notes and little thumbnail drawings. I wanted to include Yellow Taxis, Central Park, the Mama, the Chrysler Building, all those amazing icons of New York. I did ask my publisher Simon Schuster if they'd pay for a research trip to New York, but I didn't hear back from them. As the mammoth appears on every page, I thought it'd be a good idea to make his colour simple to repeat, so I spent quite a long time testing different browns using gouache, watercolour, ink and pencils, and eventually settled on a combination of coloured inks that was easy to mix and went down well on the paper. And then I didn't have to worry about that on, on every spread. These are some early roughs I sent to my publisher. At this point, I was trying to work out how to make illustrations flow and what were the main storytelling points. Some of these sketches look pretty close to the final layout, but a lot of it got reworked. Some of this is digital sketches. I, I like to go back and forth between drawing on a paper and on a tablet. Sometimes you get tired of either one, so it's nice to be able to switch it up when you're sketching. I do quite a lot of rough sketches and then for the final image I can pull elements from all of them. Here the mammoth has just arrived in New York and found a good spot for breakfast, the shrubs outside of Tiffany's. The final line work is done with a scratchy dip pen and I use ink splatters and fingerprints to add a bit of texture and tone. I'm quite a messy worker. Once that's all dried I add colour with ink, gouache and felt tips. This illustration started out as a doodle in the sketchbook. I thought it'd be funny to have Mammoth jogging in Central Park, such a classic New York scene. Mammoth generally works best in a side view as he's like such a big unit. I really like his shape and I, I enjoy drawing it from that angle. The illustration didn't end up fitting anywhere inside the book, but it's ended up on the back cover, which I love. I work on A2 paper, which is a little smaller than the final artwork in the book. I try to do as much as I can on the page. Sometimes I'll draw extra little elements and collage them together in Photoshop, as well as doing colour correction and cleaning up anywhere I need to. The cover is one of my favourite things in the book. We went back and forth with lots of different ideas. I was struggling to make something that worked until my art director, Jane Buckley, hi Jane, suggested that we set it at night. That really helped me simplify the colours and make a stronger image. I hand drew the lettering. I think it adds quite a lot of character to the cover. Thanks for watching. I would like to thank the Klaus Flug team and all the other artists who made the long list. Also thanks to the amazing crew at Simon & Schuster, especially Helen and Jane, and to Anna Kemp for letting me loose on her book. Cheers. Bye.